You know, I'm frequently asked about the school system. I think the school system is good and bad. It's like everything. Um, I think schools, as we know today, I um, there's sometimes I feel bad that I didn't go through school, go on to school. I think you develop a social intelligence in university and in the higher sides of school that you don't develop if you don't go there. Now, that doesn't mean you can't. You can, but I think that's really the, the major purpose behind higher education is you develop a social intelligence. You're mixing with intelligent people that are into great ideas from all over the world. Now, that being said, I think school is falling far short of teaching what they should be teaching us. I um, have two months formal education, high school. I have been teaching how the mind operates and how it functions to psychiatrists. Very, very competent psychiatrists. I had uh, one man, Abdullah, come over from Saudi Arabia into our matrix program. It's a six day program that we do. And it's for really moving things on a higher level. And he was telling me he learned more from me about the mind in six weeks than he had learned in 16 years of practice as a psychiatrist. I found that rather interesting. School teaches us very little about ourselves. We are locked into the intellect in school. It's important we get the degree. Um, if I filled in an application form at IBM, I couldn't get a job washing floors because of my formal education. However, IBM will pay me more for one hour then they may pay some of their managers for a month. I just come in through the back door. I don't follow the orthodox system. I think we should start to understand what education is. And I think a lot of schools don't understand that. Education isn't giving a person information. Education is pulling out what we've got. I love the way Madame Montessori put it. She said, we teach sending kids to school like they're a cup and school's going to fill the cup with knowledge. The truth is, the cup is full. Schools should teach us how to bring it out. See, education itself, the word comes from the Latin educo, meaning to educe, to develop, or to draw out from within. School teaches us nothing about ourselves. School teaches us nothing about the law of compensation. Personally, school, they have no concept of how to earn money. As a result, about 3% of the population earn all the money. 97% are scratching right from the cradle to the casket, and it's too bad. They don't have to. Um, we teach people how to earn money. I think earning money is one of the simplest things in the world to learn how to do, but we must learn how to do it. There's laws of compensation that govern how much money you earn. And we've got to learn that. And if we don't learn it, we're going to go through life, you know, struggling. There should be no struggle. We're God's highest form of creation. Earning money should be a game, and we should have more than we need. We should be able to hand out and live and give and, and really live the good life. Um, I think the school system has a lot to learn. I um, had a lady that was a principal in the uh, parochial schools here in uh, Toronto area, and she loved what I was teaching. She came to a number of our seminars. Now, I'm going way back. This is probably in the 80s. And the school system had what they called a live-in. Her system, where all the principals and heads in the education would go away to a place north of Toronto for a weekend. No, for a week. That's what it was a week. And she was forever trying to get me on the program. I had a seminar I was teaching at the time that I taught over eight weeks, eight evenings. I taught it at the Hyatt Hotel in downtown Toronto. So each seminar was about two and a half hours long. And there was eight of them. And she uh, really wanted to get me on the program at this live-in. So finally she did. And I was gonna go up there Thursday night, Friday night, and all day Saturday. I was giving them the whole program that we were selling at the time. I gave them a set of eight cassettes. I gave them a ring binder with the complete text of all the lessons we we're teaching. And I gave them the whole thing. There was over a hundred of them. Didn't charge them a dime. I had to drive from the southeast part of Toronto to about one hour north of Toronto and I had to be there by seven. I was working in a hotel in the southeast part with the Toronto Real Estate Board, and I couldn't leave till four o'clock. 
So between four and seven, I had to get through the Toronto City traffic and get away up north of Toronto where they were doing this. So it was a real hustle. I mean, I was moving and I got there. I worked Thursday night, Friday morning. She was very embarrassed. She phoned and told me they didn't want me to come back. I guess I was causing them to feel just very uncomfortable. And I always thought that was too bad, but I wasn't surprised. What do I think of the school system? I think it's um, lacking in very important information. People leave and they know very little about themselves. And unfortunately, a lot of them leave up to here in Hawk that they paid to go to school. They got the degree and they can't find work. We have to learn how to utilize the God-given abilities that we've got. And school, I think, is a good place to teach. Now, we should be teaching it at home. I have attempted to with my kids. Um, if they just taught us how to make decisions, I never made a decision for my kids. I never made a decision for my kids. They're gonna make them on their own. It was a tough thing for them, but you know, they grew up knowing how to make decisions. Most people don't know how to make a decision. What do you think I should do? And, and they're not looking for you to help them with the decision, they're looking for approval. Why? Because they don't have enough confidence in what they're doing. As part of our educational system, I think it's got to improve. Now, mind you, I think it will. I think it will, because I think everybody's becoming more aware of who we are, what we are, and what we're capable of doing. Yeah. Check us out at ProctorGallagherInstitute.com for tips, tools, and resources.